Oh. Tamper, Everybody's tantrum? seen that, Harper. Tamper tantrum? Right? Season. Well, and these are things that you usually always have at home. Once you buy kitchen bouquet, it'll last you a long time. Mm -hmm, long time. Long time. Now, I'm in trouble, so guess what? It's time to bounce. Everybody loves brown gravy. We put it on the mashed potatoes, our open-faced roast beef sandwiches, and what else do we put it on, Jim? Pancakes, waffles. Yeah, we put it on pancakes and waffles. Pizza, it works great with, I'm telling you right now. Seriously, guys. This recipe is a little bit different than probably what you have seen or from what I've researched on YouTube. This is my I'm going to say it's my grandma's recipe, my mom's recipe, my great grandma's recipe, because my mom used to own a cafe and uh, before she died in 97. And so she made this great brown gravy. And I'm like, okay, so at some point in my life, I'm like, where did this recipe come from? She said, well, I got it from your grandma. I'm okay. And she goes, it originated, or this is the gravy we made during the Great Depression. Not my mom, because she was born in 45, but my grandma, and I'm assuming my great-grandma. I'm like, cool. So, through the course of everything, this recipe was passed down to my aunts and uncles and whatever. So my mom owned the cafe, sold it to my aunt, and uh, my aunt passed this down to my wife, because I don't know how to make it, but my wife does it great and it tastes the same. It's not precise every single time because of the salt and things like that. But the thing about this recipe is this. We don't start off with a roux. Most brown gravy recipes that I've seen start off with a roux. We do not start off with a roux. So here we go. We're gonna bring it to you right here. We start off with water. Water? Water. You, you tell me we start off with water? Yeah. How much water um, do you I, do you use? I usually use about three cups of water. About three cups of water. I don't measure anything hardly, but I measured it for you. <laughs> well, thank you, love. Uh, so then we use the beef cubes. You can get any brand you want beef cubes. And for... Because a lot of people, now hang on. A lot of people I've seen on YouTube use beef stock. But that's to form the root. We start, we start with water. Right. We don't start with, yeah, I got you. Okay. And I use six beef cubes. Six beef cubes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Six. We, we use beef cubes a lot. We do. Um, oh man, with hamburgers. I don't even eat that. We get, yeah, we have a video on that, guys. I'm telling you right now. Beef cubes are fine. Some of them are easier to open than others. But... They are easier to open than others. I don't understand that. Chicken cubes, beef cubes, it doesn't matter. But I got a kid in there that went to Dollar General and brought back some walkie talkies. And I'm telling you right now, she's on a mission. She's getting everybody to talk on these walkie talkies. And, uh, oh, here she comes. Oh. What happened? Oh, I was wrong. She got a, there's a hair on your sucker. Well, let daddy wash it off. Hair on your sucker. So let daddy. No, oh, in your hair, you got it in your hair. All right. There you go. Hair off. You're welcome. Daddy to the rescue. So she should be the last one. Yep. There we go. And so this is the first process. We set it on the burners. Well. well are you going to go ahead and add yeah, your salt I'll and pepper? I'll do salt and pepper. And I'll just. However, now guys. However much salt and pepper you like. It's an experiment. Ooh, Harper, you can't do that. You burn so a little thing. salt, a little pepper, and then I add a little kitchen bouquet, which is, and this uh, is your browning. Browning. Back in the day, I'm assuming my grandparents didn't have kitchen bouquet, but they had some sort of a browning. So salt. basically, just pour it in. It's going to look black, but however dark you like your brown gravy is how much this, uh, you know, 
because you're gonna add flour and water and it's gonna lighten it up quite a bit. So kitchen bouquet. It's sometimes it's hard to find, but if you Google it, whatever you do, you probably will find it. Somewhere right. All right, and then whoa, what you're whoa, gonna whoa, do. I got in a hurry and I turned the camera back on me, but the star is you. Oh, okay. <laughs> so now what you're gonna do is just put this on the and stove on the to thing. boil and make sure your beef cubes are completely dissolved. Harper, back it up. Back up, like. baby. And so now we cut, right? I mean, because- No, we carry on here. Oh, we carry on. So you're gonna go ahead and mix your mm -hmm. flour? So okay. let that boil, dissolve the beef cubes. Yeah. I usually stir it a couple of times. And then now what we're gonna do is I have added my flour, just all purpose flour. You're getting a little too close for comfort. Harper. Harper, no, you're gonna have to get Hold back on. from the stove, baby girl. Doing. We'll do it over here. Hang on. So all purpose flour. And I have done a little over a cup. And this might be something I might have to add a little more flour. But you do a cup of flour. And then I come over here to the sink over here. Oh, that's right. And I just use cold water. May I borrow that with? Please? No. I'll give it right back to you and you can help me stir it. So I just use cold water and I just keep stirring it until I've got, got it really, really thin is what you're looking for. And it's gonna take. This this right here is a simple way to take care of your roof problem. Hold on, sissy. Hold on, you can help me, let me get because it. Because not everybody can make roux. It's right. kinda like making homemade gravy. Well, I'll just be honest, I can't make white gravy. Everything I make has to be from scratch. Uh, it's kinda, not really from scratch, but it's kinda like the way I'm making this one. Hold on, hold on. All right, let's do it on this towel. No, I want to. <laughs> little harp, no, little harper's got to get okay, in. Let too. me get it started, and then you can help me. No, because I got all this stuck in here, so I just gotta shake it out. Don't you touch. Hold on. Hold on. Got 57 hands over here. Okay, let me get it started. There, there, there. Let me add a little more water, sister. A little more. You want this as thin as you can get it. But not water thin. Mm, not super, just a little, maybe a little thick, but pretty thin. Give me a second and you can have it. Oh. Temper Everybody's tantrum? seen that, Harper. Temper tantrum? Right? Well, that's what I love about this channel. We just real. They call me in there, but they're just going to wait. Okay, you want to start some more? So what you're doing when you stir this is you're looking to get out all the clumps, as many clumps as possible. You don't want to pour that into your brown gra gravy mix if it's clumpy, because you'll just have clumpy gravy. You feel me? I feel you. So. So we're not going to pour this in yet, though. No, so we can stop until the gravy has boiled. And dissolved. The beef cubes. So okay, really all right, guys. Yeah. Oh, did you not like the flour and oh, water? Oh, she didn't like the flour and water. Why not? Does it not have a good flavor? Oh, she tasted it? Yeah, she's not real fond of it. Oh, you tasted it? <laughs> she thought it was cake mix, but apparently it's not. You want another bite? No. No, she don't want another bite. No, I don't so. Know for the moment, we gotta bounce. All right. So here we are, right now. <laughs> you wanna you wanna do it? Here sure. We go. Okay, here we go. So we're back to show you about So uh, this is where it needs to be, everything is dissolved yeah, and yep, stuff. Yeah, yep. okay. It's already dissolved. I kept stirring it to make for sure. And then once it's dissolved, then you can start pouring the mixture in your water and your flour. Hold on, sister. Well, Harper, she's awful healthy today. Yeah. <laughs> Little so all you do now at this point is you just start pouring it in slowly and stir it constantly while you're doing it. Hopefully you can do it. Hopefully this three-year-old behind me don't jerk my arm or we're gonna have a big time disaster. So, don't worry. Don't, don't, don't Harper, do not do touch. Do not touch, just watch, okay? 
So you just keep stirring constantly because if you just stir it, pour it all in, it's just going to clump up. Stir it constant. This is so much easier, in my opinion, than doing a roux. Oh, if I had to make a roux, we wouldn't be eating brown gravy. We would not be eating brown gravy, would we? When you feel like, as you're stirring it, when you feel like it's getting thick, kind of stop for a second was what I usually do. Just get a good stir. Harper, hang on, baby doll. If it's not thick enough, just continue to add more. Basically, this is the roux. We do it at the opposite end of it. Most people we, we do, do it things at the bass backwards. That's the word I'm going to use. Bass and backwards. as you make brown gravy, obviously you're not looking for it to be real thick, like a chocolate gravy or a white gravy or anything like that. You want a thin brown gravy. But you can put in how, how, however thick you want it. Sure. So that's how you judge the consistency. But you have to constantly stir it. It's kind of like making pudding. And then also, you may have to add salt. At the end, that's why we... And once I get it all in there and mixed, turn your burner off. So you you think you have it where you're... I do. You want it? You do? And then, yeah, from this point, after I've stirred it, take it off the heat and just set it to the side. So that's... You're good that's with it. that? Okay. And then you can taste it. There's salt and pepper. Over here. Let me... Let me well, it's hot. Well, it's off the thin to me. It looks thin to me. Get your spoon. Taste it there, sir. <laughs> Cause it's gonna thicken up. I know that. Yeah, I'm just giving. I'm just giving her a hard time. Let me go ahead and start the macaroni. No, she's staring at the macaroni. I just wanna. I just wanna get a little, little taste here. Just a tad, just a tad bit more salt. Guys, how easy was that? No roux. I mean, that's simple. Very simple. And this is a recipe, like I said, that my mom told me that her mom. I guess in maybe grandma. This is where it come from, the Great Depression. It was very simple, very easy, very fast. And there's and it's, brown gravy. Oh man, it's so good. I promise you. It is very good. Not too many ingredients. Basically it's water, flour, beef cubes, salt, pepper, and yeah, kitchen it's simple. And I'm sure back in the day they didn't have kitchen bouquet, but they had some sort of browning season. Well, and these are things that you usually always have at home. Once you buy kitchen bouquet, it'll last you a long time. Mm -hmm. Long time. Long time. Now, I'm in trouble, so guess what? It's time to bounce. <laughs>